guys what is going on today d creator here back with another video we are actually going to modernize the f-150 if you guys don't know i just recently purchased a 2015 f-150 i love the truck i mean it's everything that i needed in a truck plus more but uh people think it's a 2019 and up f-150 the inside of it looks pretty new and i like that heated and cool seats touchscreen radio digital dash everything's pretty pretty nice in here the only thing that isn't nice is uh well the headlights and by the headlights i mean the bulbs i honestly don't know why ford did this for some reason ford did led lights right here led lights on the strip right here led light right there there's a little small one led lights right here don't mind the crates it's a work truck but what i don't understand is why they use halogen bulbs on the third brake light halogen bulbs on the tag light see led light right here they even got secondary spots underneath the uh, mirror that's LED but they did not do LED headlights they also did the high beams too but I don't have the high beams on and also the fog lights but I don't have those on I don't understand why they did that we're about to change that we purchased a LED set we got it from C lights I've used C lights before I used it in the FJ I used it in the 1998 Mach 1 I even used it in my moped so this is a really really good brand of led lights the yellow lights are kind of outdated and they're kind of old even my wife's toyota camry have led lights so i think i need to go ahead and do that with this truck but without further ado let's go ahead and install these real quick sorry guys for interrupting the video but uh if you guys enjoyed this video so far please triple tap the like button yes i said it triple tap make sure we really know that you like this video not once not twice but three times thank you for watching let's get back to the video now when you install these most of the time you reach your hand down in here behind the headlight and pull out the bulb they stopped doing that on the f-150s why i don't know it has so much room to do it on but you can't get to it what we're gonna have to do is get it from behind the wheel well and here's some of the tools you need you need a couple of flatheads so you can prop the wheel well out the way pry tool or some type of push pin remover you need like a ratchet i got an electric ratchet because you know i don't do any hard work and also either you need a 7 30 second socket or a five and a half millimeter socket which i mean not a lot of people have five and a half but a 7 30 second socket would be good the first thing you want to do is turn your wheel to whichever side you want to work on because you're going to need the clearance and before i uh continue on with this video i just want to say this i like when it warms up but i hate when the bugs come out i literally just got hit in the face by a wasp <laughs> just to get I, I was just trying to get in the truck it was over there by my door handle i didn't do anything all i did was grab my door handle and it came out of nowhere and popped me in the face luckily it didn't sting me but let's go ahead and uh start up the truck turn the wheel all the way to the left because we're gonna start on the passenger side first and see how much room it gave us Hopefully there's no walls in here somewhere. But what you wanna do is you wanna take out that screw, take out that screw. As Soon as I said that, a wash come up. Mm-mm, can't do it. Look at him. You take out that screw, take out that screw. There's one more screw up here somewhere. Where is it? It's right here. You can't really, well, there you go. You can see it now. And then you have a push pin right there. And then what you want to do is just pry this wheel well back and then you should be able to see the back of the the headlights the 
this bird keep flying in my garage. It's kind of cool. It's just flying in there and floating above my car. As long as it don't poop on it, I'll be okay. All right, guys, so you got to pull that back tab off of it. That's the high beam. And up there is the low beam. Yeah, you just pull it right off. And then you should be able to see the bulb once the camera decides it wants to focus. You can see the bulb. All you have to do is twist it out, unplug it, and then plug your new headlights in. Now your fog lights are going to be a little bit harder to get to because it's a little bit tighter area. But it's right there. Right there. So if you could just reach your hand back in there to get it, you should be able to get all three of the bulbs. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, put this side together go ahead through the other side and then we're gonna show you what it looks like with the new LED front end on it of course not right now because it's 10 o'clock in the morning but you know what I mean we're gonna see it later on tonight so I see you later on tonight not completely dark but it's pitch black right up there and I know you can't see anything but I just wanted to show you what it looks like when I turn everything on so let's go ahead and turn on the headlights a world of a difference and that's the high beams and that's with the fog lights not much of a difference but still it's more visibility yeah guys it's super crazy bright you can't even see the truck because of how bright the lights are you just see the grill so right now all you can see is a silhouette of me and the truck behind me let me turn around and let you see my face yeah decent bright lights definitely like them all right guys so we're back into creator studio which is just my upstairs is my upstairs office i'm still kind of working with the lighting in here but you know it is what it is we just moved so i'm still trying to work with that overall the led lights they work really really well i really like them uh, i think i might have to adjust the headlights a little bit because they are kind of pointing up a little too high but it's gonna be okay because they're still bright and here comes raven You gonna say hey I'm actually wearing a D creators creation hat my mom actually gave this to me she got it made for me I'm actually gonna wear it as a work hat whenever I'm filming I think that's what I'm gonna start doing now I think I'm gonna start making short films I think I'm gonna make a second YouTube channel with just short films if you if you guys think you would like that comment down below I'll go ahead and try it out with my return to subscribers make sure you guys check out the link below uh, I will have them lights down there. I also have the merchandise store. This hat won't be on there, but there will be other merchandise down there. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions about the lights or anything else that's going on with the channel, going on with the channel, feel free to comment down below and we can talk about it. But that's it, guys. I'll see you on the next one, all right?